Hey guys, I'm Tiffany Harlick, and I'm here to do the reading for Free to Row Friday at Wise Skies. Um, and we're going to start with Aries and go all the way through Pisces. And so we're going to use three decks today. Um, so I'm using the Golden Tarot deck, which is kind of a normal Tarot deck. I'm also using um, some astrology cards just for fun. And then I thought we could use the animal medicine cards. So everybody gets a lot of magic today. Um, let's just start by taking a deep cleansing breath in through the nose and out through the nose. I'm beginning to visualize some white liquid light streaming in from our crown chakras all the way down through the chakra system into the earth and then like an elevator of light back up through your system maybe beginning to soften the throat rolling the shoulders up by the ears and down the spine helping open the channels of listening so that we're all listening with an ear of the heart so I hope everybody gets something out of it, but this is just tarot. It's for fun and entertainment. So take what you want and leave the rest. And let's get started with Aries, because we got a jumper. So we got the Ace of Cups here for Aries. Um, the Ace of Cups signaling new beginnings, signaling um, something to fall in love with. And so anything that you can do, Aries, this weekend to really inspire yourself, to uh, fall back in love with an aspect of your life, um, this is a card that illuminates joy and compassion, but really it should it should be kind of uh, a fun feeling for you. So um, let's get a some more cards here. Six of coins. So not only are we generating that feeling of love um, and fulfillment, we're also looking out for the Aries with some generosity financially. So it may be a good time to ask for uh, abundance, you know, to clear some of your blocks to abundance because it looks like there's some gifts coming your way. That could be some financial blessings. Um, it could be that you're doing that for somebody else. If we look for the Aries in the house cards, I mean in the astrology cards, let's see what we get for you guys. I'm just clearing for Aries. Um, you're having a third house issue maybe this weekend. And so third house issues have to do with school, our neighborhoods, um, our neighbors, our brothers and sisters, uh, literally, <laughs> not just being t like hippie Tiffany here, like our literal brothers and sisters, but also our brothers and sisters of humanity. Um, the third house rules communications and how we process information. And so are you, are you willing to receive some financial blessings? Are you, real, are you willing to um, step up and help out and uh, have some acts of compassion and service towards your brothers and sisters and neighbors? Um, and then for an animal spirit card for you guys, for the Aries, it was a good shuffle. Uh, Black Panther, wild, rock and roll, Aries. Okay, so I'll let you geek out on the animal cards your own. I'm not going to um, go through the meanings and symbolism, but the animal cards are from the very first deck that was gifted to me by my aunt, which is the medicine cards. Okay, so clearing now for Taurus. Let's see what we've got uh, in session for Taurus here, clearing the deck for Taurus. Just getting some clear information, advice, or guidance for the Taurus folks watching. Clearing for Taurus. Okay, a five of cups, uh, ace of coins. Okay, and so are some of you guys making yourselves miserable at work, right? This is the card of uh, grief sometimes, of um, not, not being able to see the blessing in a situation, uh, overdoing, overthinking, or surrounding yourself um, it, with people that are kind of grumpy or not supportive or low, low vibing at the moment. Um, this can also apply to healthcare workers, right? When you're around sick people all the time, um, it can kind of bring you down. Like, are you, what are you doing to refill your cup? Can you step away maybe from this? Or can you see, yeah, my work's kind of draining me right now and not let it be like an end of the world issue, but just realizing that, okay, I've got some awareness that work is feeling draining. And you know what happens when work feels draining? It kind of screws with your abundance mentality. Um, so being uh, careful as you go to work, if you're working for the week over the weekend to, um, or even into next week, right? Being aware of your mentality as you start your work day. Uh, all right, let's get a card of clarification with the astrology deck for our Taurus friends. We get the sign of Libra. 
Okay, so uh, Taurus, you might be dealing with a Libra, you might be dealing with relationships, you might be dealing uh, with having to be diplomatic at work, you know what I mean? Um, Libra, the sign is always looking for harmony and balance and making things right, and so when things feel draining at work, you're like trying to recalibrate and lift things up uh, and just balance things out somewhat. It could be balancing things out in your own self and being like, you know what, this is the weekend, I'm putting a healthy boundary on it. So clearing the deck for Taurus here, giving them a special animal totem to work with over the weekend. <laughs> cool. Uh, we get the elk. I love this card because we can hear them out at my dad's uh, place. There's neighbors that have game elk and they make the most beautiful sound in the mornings and the evening. A super magical creature. What does elk mean to you, Taurus? All right, let's clear the deck. Now let's put the cards back in and clear the deck for Gemini. Let's clear the deck for Gemini. Taking a deep breath in through the nose, pausing at the top and exhaling. Just clearing for our Gemini friends. What is it that Gemini needs to hear? Okay. Feeling a strong sense of connection to source energy. So we ask for guidance for Gemini. All right, the double card and the five of cups. Also, Gemini, something plaguing you, something taking over, uh, something taking over your energy, um, kind of putting your power. Look, it looks like there's an ending happening, but it's actually a good ending. So this is walk away and don't look back. And um, this is also about overcoming your demons. This is also about um, the ending of a situation that is maybe taxing on you right now but whoosh, good things are happening. So this looks really dark and bad. I think it's great, actually. I think that you're coming to a sense of completion. It could be um, that you sell your home and that it's really taxing right now, but you're moving forward into a new situation. Stuff like that, that can apply for your business life. It can also apply for your um, relationships and love life and family life. And so a card, a clarification from the astrology deck for our Geminis. Hi, everybody coming in. Okay, clearing for our Geminis. Uh, Capricorn. All right, so I started out intuitively saying this was a work situation, and I'm sure it is because we got the card of Capricorn. So Geminis, you could be dealing with a work issue. Uh, Capricorn, your own ambitions, a career change, uh, quitting one career and starting a new one, uh, ending a certain chapter, uh, firing and hiring people. Um, stuff like this. It's just time consuming right now. Don't worry. It's not going to be forever. It's worth it. You're doing a great job, Gemini. And an animal totem for you. Okay. Uh, a coyote. So a little bit of trickster energy, which you have naturally, Gemini, right? So coyote energy, some trickster, mercurial, uh, working in a pack, right? So what does coyote mean to you, Gemini? All right, let's clear the deck for Cancer. Sorry, clearing the deck for Cancer. I don't know what happened in the skies, but I, I have like accomplished so much this morning. It feels great. Something is lifted. It feels like there's more time. Um, I hope you guys are feeling it too. I delivered a kind of a murky February forecast. So if you're looking for the February forecast, it is up. It's on YouTube. It's also on um, the website wise skiescollective.com all right so we're looking now for Gemini clearing I mean excuse me we're clearing the deck for cancer all right it fell out we've got the page of coins all right what does cancer need to know and the ten of coins all right so it's like easy come easy go all right so um, cancers of the world, you are facing some financial issues, it looks like, some issues around security and stability. Um, sometimes we look for that on the outside and we don't know how to adjust and start uh, attracting it from the inside. You know, cancer is, uh, has a lot, have, have a lot of caretaker energy. Um, and so sometimes when you caretake everybody else, you have stopped caretaking yourself. And so this is um, just a reminder to um, kind of reset the foundation. This is uh, the beginning of a new project, new money coming in, something different, a different way of receiving income than you've received before. And this is ultimate abundance. So it's great. So continuing to work on anything that is blocking you, if you have any old beliefs, 
that came from mom, dad, self, or others, uh, usually between the ages of zero to seven, um, they will have an impact on you. You know, what are your money beliefs, Cancer? Do you believe that um, you have to work hard? Do you believe that money is the root of all evil? Do you believe that, you know, what are some of your money beliefs that you're that you're looking to have a breakthrough with and then just genuinely have a breakthrough, right? Um, let's look at for some astrology support for our cancers. Um, Pisces. It says this energy is wistful, endlessly loving, compassionate, and forgiving. It confuses and softens resolve. And so Pisces being the end of the zodiac, using your intuition with money, Cancer, that's going to be my message for you. And then a spirit animal for you, Cancer. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Uh, badger. <laughs> so what does badger mean to you? Are you being badgered? Are you badgering somebody else, right? So um, taking care and consideration to what badger as a spirit animal has for you cancer let's clear the deck now for leo clearing for leo and clear precise advice for any leos watching clearing for leo all right <laughs> okay leos um looks like there could be some judgmental attitudes going on that are holding you back. This could be fear of judgment from other people. Um, this could be you judging others too harshly. And ultimately, it comes from um, how you judge yourself, right? And so the judgment card isn't only about judgment. It's also about life after death. It indicates a new chapter coming up, a new life cycle. And so something that you have really had a lot of anxiety over is starting to turn around and you're starting to get a new perspective. So Leo, I say embrace it. It looks like happy roads ahead. It looks like uh, picnics and good times in the future and you're just overcoming some of the feelings that you have around stuff right now. And let's clear the deck for some astrology support for our Leos. <laughs> All right, we've got Pluto, your ability to transform, take a big leaf forward and rebirth. All right, so that is very similar to the Tarot support for you, Leo. So you're going through a big one. It's not easy and it feels heavy. Sometimes it can feel like the end of the world with Pluto. So go slow with yourself and others so nobody gets hurt. And let's find a spirit animal card for our Leo friends to give them some extra magic and support throughout the weekend. Oop, okay, uh, whale. This is cool. This is a beautiful energy. What does whale mean to you? Whale shows up in my dreams uh, often. So whale for our Leo friends. And then transitioning now into Virgo. Let's clear the deck for Virgo. See what um, this reading can offer the Virgos watching for the weekend ahead. Some practical advice and guidance for Virgos. My cousin is a Virgo, and um, she just gifted me with some um, like supply things for my pantry to organize my uh, like baking supplies and you know like my quinoa and my um, granola and my walnuts and all my stuff that needs to be like pretty and put away. <laughs> and she, I sent her a picture before this, and I was like, "Look, I'm pre-organizing because I have all of my like sticky notes. Like, oh, this one is for the um, oatmeal or this, you know, whatever." And she said, oh, that looks like good Virgo fun. And, you know, I have Virgo in my 10th house, uh, but I'm also Scorpio. And I said, you know, it's also about organizing what that's behind the closet, that what you can't be seen. Uh, so we were just having some fun. All right. Um, Virgos. What do our Virgos need to hear? We get the Eight of Wands reversed, Temperance reversed. And the four of coins here. It seems like it seems like something has slowed down. Um, we this is the card of it's happening quickly. So when it's reversed, it seems like something has slowed down or the timeline has changed. This is a card about um, being in moderation. So when it's reversed, it's almost like somebody pumped the brakes harshly. Like we were going in a direction and now we're not. It's not even we were going in our direction and we changed directions. It's like we were going forward and now we're not. And so there's like a little bit of uh, whiplash going on is what I have to say. 
All right, so for our Virgos, a little bit of either emotional, financial, um, some kind of whiplash uh, energy that's happening for you. Let's get a card of clarification for the... Whiplash isn't always bad, right? Um, it could have to do with your feelings about the world at large, uh, about the pandemic, about politics, about your um, career, about your love life. There, You know, that feeling of whiplash, I'm just going to keep doing it. <laughs> right? Like that feeling of, whoa, um, this isn't necessarily bad. Um, what's clear for our Virgos? Uh, and 10th house, so more having to do with your career more having to do with your achievements, um, your status in the outside world, all right, how people see you, like what role you play in society, that's where we're feeling maybe a little bit of whiplash. And so uh, being able to go slow, um, TLC, and um, get your bearings. Let's see what spirit totem we have for our Virgos. You know, not every uh, reading needs a, a solution. <laughs> That's so weird. I'm like, not every reading needs a solution, and you get a blank card. I'm still going to give you an animal. Deer. Okay, so Virgo, you get the card of deer. And what does deer mean to you? Are you the deer with your, you know, frozen in the headlights, and you're cut off from your emotions, and you're not feeling things? Um, are you the deer that's in fight or flight? Are you the deer that's uh, enjoying her beautiful green field with her family? There's lots of interpretations for you to work with at, for deer totem. All right, let's clear the deck for Libra. Clearing for Libra. Um, right? Yeah. So, clearing for Libra. Uh, I want to thank you guys that have booked with us this week. Uh, I opened some more times on my schedule, so um, those have filled. So it, that indicates to me that you guys still want readings. I am honored when we do them. I, each session has uh, been really powerful lately, so I want to thank you for supporting the Wise Skies um, programming. We just had an awesome class on dream interpretation. Um, we've got runes classes coming up. All right, let's clear for our Libras. Five of Swords reversed here. Uh, King of Wands, all right. Looks like um, maybe you've been putting your energy into something um, that just isn't really working out, you know? And so it's like cutting your losses, Libra. So cutting your losses. And let's get a card of astrology to help provide some clarity. Fourth house. Cutting your losses in terms of something that you, you've put a lot of energy into your home and your family. This fourth house card indicates home, family, um, the past, the roots you know, of your being, um, the foundation, it seems like something just needs to shift and change, or you've put a lot of energy into it, and it's just not quite going the direction you wanted it to, so um, going back to your roots to get clarity can be really helpful right now. Um, let's get an animal medicine card for our Libra friends. Okay. Turtle. So turtle medicine. What does turtle mean to you? Does it mean to slow down? Does it mean to have some armor available? Does it mean a Mother Earth energy, right? So whatever it means to you, Libra. Uh, let's shift now for Scorpio. Clearing the deck for Scorpios watching. So crazy. This little deck has delivered so many messages. All right, thank you Golden Tarot and Cat Black for designing it. Let's clear the deck for Scorpios. Thank you Deborah for teaching me on it. Ooh, <laughs> Seven of Swords reversed, Ace of Swords, uh, Queen of Wands, okay. Um, like, all right, here's the deal. Uh, Something has sucked your time or energy. Sorry, we're having allergy season here. Uh, something has been sucking your time or energy, and it has been a blessing from the universe, but it hasn't felt like it because you're getting a new perspective. You're able to see things differently, and you're ready to move forward with it. Um, you can see that you didn't need to take things so personally, um, that when other people were having a problem that was kind of taking your life force energy to deal with, um, it wasn't really about you. And maybe you were called to be a helper. Maybe you were being called to uh, create some healthy boundaries for yourself. Um, whatever it is, 
we just know that this situation that was really taxing on you um, is changing and you have some new ideas, some new insights and the strength to move it forward, the strength to dream it forward. So yay, good on you Scorpios. Let's get a card of support for you from the astrology deck. Seventh house. So this has to do with your relationships, your significant others, the area of your life around long-term significant partnerships, uh, rom romance, business, and family. So these long-term partnerships, um, something that might have, you might have even been the drain. You know what I mean? It's not like it was all happening to you. You might have been draining on somebody else, whatever the thing is. It's like, let's start to contain our energy, be responsible for our part of it, and decide how we want um, to feel in our relationships moving forward. Um, let's get a little animal spirit medicine for you, Scorpios. And you get the blue heron, okay? So what does blue heron mean to you? All right, let's clear the deck now for Sagittarius. Clearing for Sagittarius. What do our Sag friends need to hear? <clears throat> Maybe taking a deep breath in through the nose, pausing at the top and exhaling, pausing at the bottom, slowing the breath so that you can calm the parasympathetic nervous system and begin to listen with an ear of the heart. Weird, that guy fell out again. For our Sagittarius. Let's clear the deck for Sag and get a card of clarification. Uh, Nine of Wands reversed here. Um, and the King of Swords also reversed. Sorry. So we get a similar message to Scorpio. Something that has really been draining your life force energy that's taken a lot out of you. A situation that you don't know how um, to get yourself out of. You know, uh, analysis paralysis, some fears. Um, some just lack of clarity um, and so uh, kind of plugging up your energy just like Scorpios and seeing where is it that we can um, start to heal shift cleanse purge purify and move forward here so that you, you're not feeling constantly drained or at the wrong place at the wrong time stuff like that so getting a card of clarification for Sag uh, the 12th house so your unconscious mind your subconscious um, beliefs and, and drives that are motivating you and fueling you without maybe you even knowing it. It said this. It says this is an area of life where uh, you're feeling overwhelmed. That is overwhelming, and it's time to yield to a greater cause or a greater power. All right. So an act of surrender for our Sagittarius friends. Uh, clearing the deck, so we can get an animal totem for Sag. We get the frog. So frog medicine for Sagittarius. Is it time to leap forward, you know? Is it time to swim in the water? Is it time to work with um, the land and the water equally? What does frog medicine mean to you? All right, let's clear for um, Capricorn, right? So let's clear for Capricorn. What do our Capricorns need to hear for the weekend? Some fun advice or guidance that helps them feel that they're able to connect the cosmic dots. Clearing for Capricorn. Ace of Swords, all right. Queen of Wands, I love it. And the Tower. All right, uh, Capricorn, overcoming the odds. All right, and so it is your time to shine. So stepping forward, uh, you have the full support of the universe behind you. You're able to see things clearly and differently. You might need to, um, verbalize this so over the weekend capricorn if you need to say something if you see something say something right if you're noticing something do you need to journal about it do you need to share with a trusted friend that can reflect some things back to you you're ready to take action uh, you're over the hard time of it and you're you're having this like aha brilliant aha moment this is mars energy and uranus energy and it's like sudden flashes of insight uh, it's um, brilliant, and so make sure that you're recording your dreams, taking a notebook with you around so that you can write down any ideas, bright ideas that you have. And for clarification, you also get the card of Pluto, right? Deep transcendence, deep transformation, um, shifting in a way um, that's a big leap, leap forward. A big rebirth is happening for you, guys, for you Capricorns watching. And a little spirit totem for our Cappies. 
which animal best uh, would serve the Capricorn Collective? Again, the blank one. Uh, turkey. Turkey medicine, very powerful. Uh, what does turkey mean to you, right? What are you gobbling up? Um, where, where are you, um, a gift, right? Like the gift bird. Um, so for consideration, your own contemplation. After Capricorn comes Aquarius. So let's clear the deck for Aquarius and see what our Aquarians need to hear this weekend. Some practical advice, guidance. As we reach out into the field of unconditional love and infinite wisdom where all things are possible, what is it that would best serve as guidance for the Aquarius collective? King of Wands, seen that a few times. The High Priestess. All right, so Aquarius, this is really about making your own magic. You're, work, you're, look, you're in new territory. You're exploring a new side of life. You're noticing some new feelings that you haven't felt in a long time, and it's really powerful. Um, so using your feelings as the base to, of your alchemy to change uh, whatever it is that you want to change. It's not like you're changing because things aren't perfect as they are. That's not the idea here. Um, but Aquarius, whatever you want to shift gears into, um, tapping into that emotion first is going to be really useful for you. All right, let's clear the deck for Aquarius. Sixth house. All right, so this has to do with your day-to-day -day life. It also has to do with your health, your healing, um, your gardens. And so if you're wanting to experience a shift um, in any of those areas, the work, health, and duty areas of your life, start first by changing your emotions, how you feel around it. Um, start with a vibration of love. Is there something you can love about uh, what is so that you can grow and expand and use your personal alchemy that um, to change it? All right, and for Aquarius, the ant. You know, you never underestimate the power of an ant, um, how they work together, how they're able to move these uh, objects that are monumental in comparison to their size, uh, how one little sting can send you into a tizzy. You know what I mean? So powerful medicine, ant medicine for Aquarius. What does the ant mean to you? Have you, uh, okay, I'm going to stop. <laughs> All right, clearing the deck for Pisces. What is it that our Pisces collective needs to hear? Clearing the deck for Pisces. Guys, if you haven't bought the digital calendar yet, this is the best time of year to get it because you have the whole year in front of you. Uh, I have been asked to do some custom calendars. Um, so if that's of interest to you, if you want your own personalized digital calendar for astrology for your transits, I, I will do that. Um, it is way more expensive because it takes a lot of time, but uh, everybody can get the digital calendar for $35 and, you know, divide by 12, that's pretty cheap for the whole year. So, wiseskiescollective.com for the forecast and the goodies in the shop. All right, we're on Pisces, so let's take a deep breath and just wrap our Pisces in an etheric veil of unconditional love. The temperance card is what leapt out. I don't know if you can see that because I'm not sure what the angle's like, but um, all right. So did this one, the Justice card. All right. So Pisces needing to pump the brakes in some area, some moderation in all things. This is a warning for you. If you're about to go overboard this weekend, if you're about to stay up too late, if you're about to go into workaholic zone, if you're about to overdrink, overthink, overeat, um, pause, reel it in, pivot. Uh, if you are overly concerned about somebody else's business, this can be very toxic to you right now. The Justice card is about the karma police. And so this is a message for you, Pisces, to stay on your own mat, look at your own healing, and let others have a human experience without uh, you having to involve yourself in it. Okay, and for Pisces, we get the 10th house. It's about your achievements and your status in the outside world. This is the house where we uh, look about our careers, right? And so if you're feeling some frustration, irritability, restlessness, discontent, having to do with your career, um, know that this too shall pass and that if you keep going forward, just like in the gym, if you keep lifting weights, you're gonna get stronger. So just keep going forward um, with your own life and not worrying about what else is out there or the, how the timing of things are. Um, clearing for Pisces. Let's get a little animal totem for them. Okay. The moose. 
All right, so moose, what does moose mean to you? I saw my first moose last year in the wild, <laughs> like came through the yard of the condo where we were staying in Breckenridge and I was so excited, there were two. Um, a moose is very powerful medicine. So I'm excited to uh, give you that card, Pisces. Uh, for a general reading for all of us watching that have hung in there this long, let's see. A general reading for all of us watching. Uh, we get the King of Coins here, the Eight of Cups here, and the Seven of Cups. So the first two are reversed. So guys, just remember that you have a lot of options in life, um, that it is okay to stop bad behavior, whether it's uh, spending, overspending, not paying attention to your financial health, whether it's overcoming uh, blocks to your abundance by looking at beliefs that were set up uh, at a very early age. Um, just know that you, you can change things by changing you. You know, um, that's the biggest message I have for all of us. A card of clarification for a general reading for all of us watching this weekend. Uh, has to do with Virgo. <laughs> it says the energy around you is dutiful, hesitant, and humble with a discriminating, diligent, and painstaking air. So basically go organize something. Clean something out. Clean out the junk drawer. Change your life. Uh, totem animal. For all of us. Let's see. For all of us watching, looking for a weekend blessing, a moment of synchronicity. <laughs> All right, I get the bear card, and I'm laughing because if you were in dream interpretation workshop, we uh, we really explored a dream, a recurring dream I have around bears. And so, what does bear mean to you? Um, in dream interpretation, people had different ideas. Like it was soft and cuddly, it was comforting. Um, for me, bear is like raw power, strength, like my, uh, like, you know what I mean? So there's a big continuum of ideas, but this is like a nod from the universe to me and then through me to all of you to connect in with your inner bear, your inner strength. Don't run away from your power, embrace it. And I hope you all have a beautiful weekend. I'm sending you a lot of love from my home here in Texas. Um, so check out everything at wiseguyscollective.com until we can work together again. Namaste.